All right. Um, I wanted to do my pitch on how I would have done Dragon Ball Super uh, Movie 2. And knowing people are talking about heavily cooler, 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 because ever since Dragon Ball Super Broly, now you open that door. Now you pretty much saying, which character should be canon? Cooler. He's the only character that had a, another sequel after him on his first movie, and he has only the second favorite fan base besides the big boy himself, Broly. And I personally believe he should be canon, and he should have been canon in day one, because you're connecting the Frieza family to the Saiyans, and anything to the Saiyans and Frieza's family is absolutely fantastic and a big part of Dragon Ball uh, lore. And I really want this character. I really do. And I never understood. And the always excuse, and I mean the always the excuse of, oh, he has a fifth form. Therefore, he should not be canon. And I'm like, fuck you. That's literally, it's like, that is a horrible, horrible excuse why he's not canon. It, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. And it honestly just piss me the fuck off that he, he wasn't canon. But now, ever since Brawly was canon, the Forbidden Door has opened. And everyone, every fan of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, wants Cooler to be the next villain. And it would be logical. Why not to have him be the next villain? You could have it where not only he achieved the golden form, not only he achieved a fifth form that Frieza and his father never knew, or you could have it where pretty much saying father knew, but he never utilized it because he never fought a strong opponent besides Beerus. And you could have massive battles, you could have an entire big storyline to where Goku and Vegeta are fighting this guy and I would have it where he's a bad motherfucker Cooler is a bad motherfucker through in and ever and you can make it where Frieza is technically the good guy technically like hey I need your help would you help me? You would have Vegeta say, F you, I'm not gonna help you for shit. I would rather have you die for all you've done. And you could kind of go on the whole dynamic where Vegeta is helping Frieza, but he's also just, in better terms, he knows what needs to be done. That's what I would have had it. And... I would have Goku all geared up like, oh wow, new opponent, can't wait to face this guy. This guy is going to be awesome to face. And I really hope that they do that if they do bring Cooler. Um, but I would also have it where when Goku and Cooler uh, have their big fight, it, it's a really good battle. And I really would have Cooler and... Goku have a epic battle to where Goku eventually defeats Cooler. But I would make it where after they done supposedly taking care of him, you would make that whole open door of will he return? Dun 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 dun. Therefore establishing he will return eventually in a possible Dragon Ball Super saga in the manga and the anime and just going forward on his story and also establishing what they thought was not the actual real cooler and he was just nothing more than a clone that Goku and Vegeta and Frieza fought and the real cooler is still around. That would be my whole open door for a possible uh, cooler's return storyline coming in because I would not kill Cooler off completely. I would make it where the characters believe that he's dead, but he's not actually really dead. He's going to be around for a while and he will return in a future storyline. That's what I would have done. And 
it would be awesome seeing a villain that Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza have to all team up. And I think it would be interesting. Granted, we'll have to see where, where it goes. Do you think my idea works? Or do you have a better idea? Love to know. Tell me your ideas. What would you do for Dragon Ball Super Movie 2? Love to know. Tell me your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys later. And, uh...